Oh, yeah. Right. So, you're in the UK at the moment. You're promoting the Royal Rumble. Yes, the Royal Rumble. So, yeah, go ahead, promote it. Tell um, us about it. Uh, Sky Sports box office, January 25th at midnight, I believe. The Royal Rumble. For those of you that don't know, is where 30 of the biggest and brightest superstars in the WWE compete to be literally the last man standing. Okay. Hey, you know, naturally, that'll be me. Yeah. Oh, right. So, are there any rules when there are 30 blokes in the ring? Or is that the whole point? The rules are, there are no rules. Well, basically, you know, it starts off with two, and then every minute, uh, another guy comes into the ring. Mm -hmm. So, basically, you know, the only rule is that you have to, uh, you get eliminated by being thrown over the top rope. It's got to be the top rope. It's got to be the top rope. If you go out underneath, that doesn't count. Okay. And, you, and you have to hit the floor, don't you? You can like, both feet have to touch you the floor. You can get back up. Yeah. As and then, you know, the, as a matter of fact, uh, William Regal, who somebody that I'm very fond of, a, a fellow uh, Brit, he uh, once went out under the bottom rope and stayed out of the ring, out of sight for a while, and came back in later on and you know threw some people out. It's counting that, isn't it? Yeah, very, very. Yeah. So is it, is it worth thinking of some tactics before you... Yeah, well, see, I don't have to do that because I'm just so incredibly oh, gifted. Okay. I just you know, <laughs> gotta do what I do. Because when I was at school, we did the Royal Rumble and I was the British Bulldog and I came in sixth. <laughs> and it's about, the, it's about the draw. It's in Cambridge. It was in Cambridge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only it's problem really is uh, Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog, it, one of his legs was the size of your entire body. <laughs> it's true. Hey, but the, we, we can all dream, right? The, the, draw, the draw matters, though, doesn't it? Because in sixth, you know, I had to survive for ages to win. I didn't win. <laughs> but, like, if you come in, you want to come in 30th, doesn't, don't you? Well, what? no, no, actually, I'd like to come in first. I'd like to be the first one and outlast everyone because, you know, I have that world-class athletic stamina. Oh. That's for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite hard to become a wrestler, isn't it? I saw a documentary about it. It's like, it's proper graft to, to actually get in. How did you get in the WWE? Uh, well, I got in, uh, this is an interesting story, and I'd, I'd like to It'll talk to you guys about it. It'll be more interesting than any of his, so <laughs> go ahead. Well, when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time in the streets, gangs, and, and uh, I spent nine and a half years in prison. And while I was in prison, I met a correctional officer who was an independent wrestler, and uh, I was looking for a hobby, something to keep me out of trouble, what, and... Uh, he had a ring set up in his backyard, and he said, well, you know, I'll teach you. And uh, I took to it like a fish to water. And, and I spent about five years on the independent scene, wrestling overseas, you know, driving 500 miles for next to nothing, you know, perfecting my craft. And I uh, had a few tryouts with the WWE, and I pitched the, the MVP character. And the MVP character is basically based on overpaid, pompous, self-absorbed athletes that, you know, <laughs> Uh, that <laughs> think the world of themselves, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they liked it, and the rest is history. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, is it, is it as much <laughs> pitching? Is it as much pitching like the character as well as pitching? You know, look at me. I'm a hard athlete. Uh, well, you have to be extremely athletic. I mean, you know, there are lots of uh, professional athletes, you know, uh, American football players, and, and people that thought, yeah, I can do that, but the training. Is, uh, it's very demanding, very grueling. And, you know, our schedule, I'm on the road 250 days a year. You know, I usually have uh, an average of four matches a week on the road. You know, so you're out there. Uh, I, I saw a documentary once that said a six-foot-tall, 200-pound wrestler, every time he gets body slammed, that's the equivalent of getting hit by a car at 20 miles an hour. So if you think about it, I'm in a series of small car accidents every night, <laughs> four, four or five nights a week. But, but you have to be able to entertain as well. It, I mean, that is as big a part of it. It is oh, the, the physical side of it. Yeah. You've, got, you've got to have the gift of the gab. You've got to be able to do that stuff. You can't go into it with no personality. You wouldn't last. Yeah, no, no. You, you, know, you have to have all the elements. I tell people all the time, you know, we're entertainers. You know, it's, it's called sports entertainment. Yeah. And the difference is, and no offense to you gentlemen, but... We don't get second takes. We don't have stunt doubles. You know, we have sure. to go out there and we have to, we have to do the stunts. We have to do the acting in front of a live audience. Is it all fixed though? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is it all pre-planned before yeah, the, you do the, the show? The outcome is predetermined. Oh, so you know, that's yeah. all I was no, asking. No, the outcome is predetermined. <laughs> it, it, it's the outcome is predetermined. But, <laughs> but uh, so we know who's going to win. So what, what's the how's the betting system work? <laughs> <laughs> We're in a bit of a uh, crisis here financially at the minute. So yeah. who's going to win? Everybody. <laughs> uh, usually me. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. 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 Safe bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll bet on that. Talking about being able to do 
all the acting in bits and pieces. The Rock was on the sofa last year. Now he's gone all Hollywood. Yeah. Would yeah, you yeah. Uh, would you read a script if it fell on your doormat? Absolutely. Uh, you know, WWE has uh, their own film studios now, and you know, uh, John Cena's put out a few. Uh, uh, he's out, actually put out a second film that's about to be released theatrically. Uh, Mr. Kennedy has a, a, a DVD that'll be released, I think, here in April. It's Behind Enemy Lines, Columbia. So we're, we're putting out lots of uh, films, and, and I definitely want to do some acting. As a matter of fact, I'm a huge fan of the British underworld. I mean, Regal always gives me these uh, paperback books. I've read books about Freddie Foreman and Charlie Seagull and the craze and the different firms, and huge fan of... of uh, one of my favorite films is Rise of the Foot Soldier. I thought that was just like brutal, you know, but I, unfortunately I have a little experience with that kind of stuff on the other side of the ocean. But uh, if you guys ever need an American heavy, you know, to come in and play <laughs> you know, I fancy myself a Vinnie Jones type tough guy. You know, you know. <laughs> Well, well, we could okay. we could see a little bit of this now because for some reason one of the crew I don't know why um, has taken a dislike to you. Um, <laughs> he's uh, nasty. He's been bad mouthing you all week. Uh, it's baby Helvis. This is this, <laughs> this is what he's been saying about you all week. Hey, MVP! Yeah, you know me. I'm talking to you, punk. You think you're some kind of tough guy. I heard what you said about me. Well, let me tell you something, bruv. I'm gonna make you pay, sucker. You've lost your last 20 matches. That's embarrassing. Well, prepare to make it 21. Oh, yeah, it's on today. Sky Sports, eyes are worth. Prepare to feel the bite of the hound dog. I'm coming at you doggy style. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Just bring it, punk. <laughs> Well, uh, let me remind you that I actually won my 21st match against the 7-foot, 450-pound Big Show. So if I can handle the Big Show, I can definitely handle... Yeah, but you lost the last 20 before that. We have no idea. We told him to do it. We were hoping you were really going to hurt him. Yeah. Well, he has his neck wasn't big enough. You know. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, let's do the thing. You can see MVP in the Royal Rumble live on Sky Box Office on Sunday the 25th from midnight. Thank you very much for the time being. We'll have a little chat. It was an absolute pleasure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.